Hey guys, uh, here's just a quick tip for you when you're in a situation like I am right now where you've come to photograph birds and it's too late to set up the blind because the birds are already there, uh, they're closer than you thought and there's plenty of daylight so if you do set up the blind uh, you're gonna get busted and it could be an hour or three or four hours before the birds come back so you can't set up a blind so take your jacket off and you basically very makeshift you're basically gonna make a, a blind out of your jacket um, so the problem is of course your camera you guys know I took the camouflage off my camera the camera's black and when you're like this or like this it has a big profile that sticks out um, so what you're gonna do is basically put your hands in your sleeves like this and you're gonna basically you see where I'm going with this throw your jacket over yourself like that now you're not too concerned about that you're concerned about your face your hands and your camera sticking out because the more you stick your neck out to photograph these birds you're gonna get busted so you have all of this to basically play with and I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. You can see how that technique would be effective. Um, having a camouflage hat, having camouflage gloves, which I didn't bring today, would have been uh, nice just to cover more of the camera. Uh, get rid of that black profile, but this is something that I used to do before I had a blind, and it's uh, it's amazing what you come up with when uh, when you don't have a blind and you don't have some things that other people have. But you know, it might seem obvious, but it's just one of those little things where it's like, oh yeah, okay. So I I know a lot of my subscribers have jackets similar to this. Um, I just had great success with it, so I'll show some of my shots and some of the footage from that. Thanks for watching. Hope that little tip helped.